in our scout room just now, I showed them a clip of the end of the game and we froze the picture. And what they saw was the smiles. That's why I do it. This team has achieved the spectacular. They're 2016 Atlantic 10 champions. It was amazing, you know, I feel accomplished. Oh, it feels great, man, you know, just to, you know, go out as an, as an A-10 champion, you know, with still more um, with basketball left to play, is, it's amazing. <laughs> the goal is to try to win your conference tournament, of course. One of my goals was to make a, win the A-10 championship and go to the NCAA tournament, and I'm, I'm glad I accomplished that for the seniors and for the rest of the group. We all gel and this, we don't have one selfish person on the team. And if you got the next pass, you make the next pass. If somebody's open, you hit that open person. If you have one guy that's, that's not, that hasn't bought in, it messes up the whole team's chemistry. We play so good collectively. And it, it, it's really, it's a really special team. I think the biggest thing that built this co cohesiveness is the fact that we won 13 games last year and the players' feelings were hurt. The sting and that feeling of basically being told by the results on the scoreboard, you're not good enough, that's what drove this team. All of the guys stayed here all summer um, because nobody wanted to end the season like how we did last year. Um, we worked, we got better. 80% of the guys was on the team last year, was on the team this year. Each individual got better and it was a team effort this year. It was great to see everything pay off. You know, all the work we put in, all the extra sprints, all the lifting, and it finally paid off. We didn't really care what people had us ranked or what people thought of us. Just blame it on the hard work that we put in. Everyone just bettered themselves, and that allowed us to, you know, come together uh, as a group. We got Isaiah Miles. He's putting the most work out of everybody, seriously. You go from 2014 when I probably saw two minutes a game, three minutes a game, didn't play at all, to now where you know, I'm playing 40 minutes a game. He fouled out, led the country in foul outs last year, and he was out of shape. He dedicated himself, dropped 20, 22 pounds, and looked me in the eye and said, what can I do to leave a mark? I said, let's start with being the most improved player in the Atlantic 10. Check that box off. You know, I just stuck with it. You know, I stayed confident, I stayed aggressive. I kept my head up, and I feel like that's why I have such a good season this year. He's a senior who, who has left the mark way beyond the scoreboard or the record book, because our younger players can watch him and say, if I work, then all of my dreams can come true also. Aaron Brown is a Philadelphia kid. My parents can come to every game, you know, they enjoy it, you know, the community enjoys it. His focus in everything has changed. He sees graduation from college being at the top of his list. Because he's been able to zero in in that area, he's been able to zero in basketball-wise. DeAndre Bembry is an old spirit. He's one of the best captains that I've ever had. You know, he's a, you know, one of the top players in the country, and um, you wouldn't notice that because he's, he's Acts just like everyone else. He wants to win every game, you know, that just brings on the court his fire and his mentality. I'm probably calling my teammate, my brother. The coaches know that I stay hard on the guys, um, and I, it's, it's the same thing, I want them to stay hard on me. We push each other, and that's how you get better as a, as a team, as a unit. I've put these guys in a situation to create a memory for a lifetime. That's what the NCAA tournament means to me. Man, sky's the limit for us. Sky is the limit. My mentality is to win the whole thing. I mean, I feel like it's anyone's mentality going to this tournament. You know, you don't want to go in here thinking, all right, I just need to win one game, win two games. You don't want to settle for less. This team's been through a lot of ups and downs. We've been through a lot of road bumps, but we, we kept going. You know, we kept our head up, we kept strong. You just got to be able to, to embrace the moment, and, that's what, and that's, that's what this team's doing. The goal has always been the same. Let's play our best basketball in the month of March.